Hello guys. This feels very weird. I'm so nervous and I haven't been able to put up a vlog because I've been so nervous. So I thought I'd come on and update you. So today's the 5th of January. I'm dressed. I have some makeup on, nothing extravagant or whatever. But today I'm going to my first ever acting class and honestly, I'm so nervous and that's why I haven't been able to do anything really. Like I've been working but like I'll be working away on something and then like every five minutes I remember, oh yeah, I have that this evening. I am going at like, I'm leaving my house at half four. It's now like three o'clock, I'm getting the bus and then I'm walking to the place I'm having the acting lesson for free. Um, so yeah, basically it's like a free trial class to see if you wanna take actual lessons and then you can do like a full selection of lessons. And like it says for beginners and I'm praying that it actually is for beginners because I don't have acting experience. I've never even participated in a play or anything when I was in secondary school. Thanks so much art school for that. <sighs> yeah, I'm stressed, so. That's pretty much it. I wasn't gonna vlog this because I am so anxious, but maybe I will. We'll see. Okay, this is my outfit for my first acting class. I'm assuming I'm gonna be like, I should have worn runners, but I'm just wearing these because they're like my favorite shoes and I'm most comfortable in them and I want to be warm. So this is my outfit. I'm still as nervous as earlier, but you know, trying new things in January. If you don't put yourself in uncomfortable situations, how will you know if you survive? I don't even know if that's a saying, but I'm freaking out internally and externally. My mom came in and collected me, so Owen brought me there, and then my mom collected me. Her last message to me, I'm outside, hurry. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was actually really good. We did legs today, and we just did lots of bits. Oh, we did legs on Monday as well, so now it's Thursday, so like I'm a bit tired, like I'm genuinely wrecked, but it was good. I'm gonna go get breakfast now. I might go for a nap before work, and I know it's like, not what you're meant to do. like a joke jar situation um so i'm having my breakfast i just went with scrambled eggs and a cup of tea i made my scrambled eggs with oat milk instead of dairy milk because whatever i'm a dairy milk queen or an oat milk queen not a dairy milk queen and um it looks disgusting it actually looks gray but like i'm just hoping it tastes nice this is like perfect type of toast as well It's good. I'm actually really happy with this. Owen's wearing Cody Co merch, bought by me, gifted by me for Christmas time. And we came all the way to McDonald's for the Mac plant. I say Mac plant. No, don't. <laughs> 
this is what we got. We got the goods. It's good. No, 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 no. All we do in this vlog is eat. <laughs> okay, apologies for the light. We are eating at night time. I don't wanna say it's a love. God, for some reason I think I'm gonna get this on my hair. Okay, no, I can't do this. I'm gonna have to pull up my hair. Are you sure? <laughs> no, just put up my hair. <laughs> Cut scene, you just your clothes are off. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some of the burger by itself. Okay, do. Okay, here it is in all its glory with the light on because I've now discovered the flash is a thing. <laughs> oh, and it's already done. Woo! I'm such a slow ear. Well, I'm such a. You've been trying to set the camera thing. for that. <laughs> yeah. I, don't Honestly, know. I don't know why I'm acting as if like my review is going to mean that much. Honestly, what? <clears throat> I would get it again, 100%. Like, beef's obviously nicer. Like, that's not, weird. That's not a lie here. But you don't like beef, so that's interesting. But... There's way more veggie, like actual, how do you say it? There's way more substance to it. Mm, that's so nice. I really like that. The pickles are thicker and like the onions are more, just more onions and sauce. And mm. the cheese looks even different to what's on the, there's probably vegan it's, cheese. It is vegan cheese. Yeah, obviously it's stupid. In fact, <laughs> yeah, this is good. I will give that a solid. I give it, like it's 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10, I really like it. Like it's 10 out of 10 meat free, like, like obviously, it's not the best thing I've ever eaten, right? Anything but like if I, I think it's really nice. Yeah, you, you don't like burgers, so that's a good. Yeah, side. I don't like burgers. Yeah. Um, yeah, I give it a ten out of ten, which I never give. No, so I'm throwing that out there. <laughs> yes, you do give ten out of ten. Well, I only started giving ten out of ten because I was constantly saying nine out of ten. All right. Anyway, that's all. I'm now going to turn you off, so I can eat this in peace. Quick, we have half an hour. Oh yeah. <laughs> we have half an hour. <laughs> My outfit is so questionable. These are the best veggie sausages, and Owen's getting some of this, so um, we can have it in the morning. We have actual. We're gonna use cheese from home because yeah, I'm not. not I'm, I'm not, not vegan. Yeah. <laughs> in your house. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. This is my outfit. It's very questionable. Actually, it doesn't look that questionable, don't it? Okay, let me show you. No, I said show. Oh. Let me show. Every time I try and film like a sit down -y part where I'm talking about something, I'm like, eh. Cause I'm so used to making vlogs now that like this honestly feels so foreign. But hello, thank you for getting this far in the video. If you are still here, you probably want to hear me talk about the acting class because when I re-looked, re-looked, when I was editing the video, I realized that I showed the class, I showed, well, I showed me going to the class, I showed me going to Dublin, coming home the next day. And then I never acknowledged the fact that I actually went to an acting class. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So before I get into that, I just wanna give some background before, or the reasoning why I really wanted to go to an acting class. So basically, when I was younger, I was always into performing. I was always writing plays, writing up short stories, then making my sisters perform them. I was the writer, director, very cranky, very dramatic. And I was also the lead role because I couldn't not also be the lead. So basically I was always into this and when I was really small I used to do ballet so that kind of like covered my like performing part of it and then my mom like I never asked to do acting classes because I was a child and I probably didn't really realize what it was or I'm, I'm not sure like I was small I can't remember now and then when I was in sixth class of primary school I we had like a little play I was Little Red Riding Hood in Little Red Riding Hood then I went into secondary school and I was always in like the chorus for the different musicals that my school had on like first and second year and then I don't know could have been the recession could have been just like that the school was poor like the country was poor but when I got into TY when it was finally my year's time to have their own musical the school cancelled them and to say I was upset about that is an understatement I was furious and I kept holding on to this hope I was like right well maybe when I'm in fifth year they'll do another musical and I can apply then or maybe when they're in oh I'm in sixth year I was not letting go of this dream so anyway, fast forward to college, never got that musical experience in school. And then when I got to college, I was just, I don't know, I almost I had myself convinced I was too old at 18 and 19 to start acting. And I don't think, I'm, I'm definitely way more confident now than I was in college. So I didn't pursue it. I just kind of was like, no, I'll just stick with like the little clubs and societies I'm in. Like I won't do it. And then I started commute, which I feel also impacted me going for it and joining new things. 
so then college ended and I was kind of like thrown into like full-time work I, I I danced the whole way through and I gave up dancing in sixth year and then when I was around 21 I went back to ballet so I was dancing again that was fun I did like um like a class award very good love all that then my dance school ended and then fast forward to Christmas 2021 a few weeks ago I realized I want a new hobby and I want to do something that challenges me that I've wanted to do for years and then I find myself googling beginner acting classes and that's what I did last week. I did a tester for a beginner acting class that was free, it was with a gaiety and when I came out of that class and walked to the bus I can only ex I can only describe the feeling as like euphoria, it was just pure adrenaline, pure excitement. I was so happy and it, it had honestly felt like I was after doing something that I'd wanted to do my whole life and in that hour class that I was there I was like weirdly fulfilled. It was so strange. It was like the happiest I've I've been in months and I've I've been very happy the last couple of months but this feeling was just something I haven't experienced in ages or I don't think I've ever even experienced it. So then uh, fast forward to this week I had to make the decision am I going to pay for acting classes am I going to actually do this I love the first lesson so I signed up for one and my second acting class but like my first official paid for acting class is this evening and I'm very excited so yeah I'm 25 I'm taking my first proper acting class today even though my first proper one was last week and I'm so excited and I, I honestly can't wait and I'm going to try document this on my youtube channel even though like I'm not aiming to do anything ex extravagant or crazy like the goal right now and this year like hopefully with covid getting better is to perform in a little play in a little local amateur acting society and that's all I want and I know I probably could have tried to do that already without acting classes but I hate feeling like I don't know what to do so I feel like having a bit of acting classes will make me more confident in pursuing a little play and that's basically it and I'm so happy and excited and I feel so energized and I feel like a lot of people don't like starting new things in January and they kind of be like no you can start new things whenever starting this in January has been the best way to set me up for 2022 that I could ever ask for I'm so energetic I'm so excited I'm going to the gym I'm going to acting classes I feel so good so that's basically it like I'm just so energized and I can't wait for the next year um so yeah if you have any questions about it if you have come to acting late in life if you're thinking of doing it and if you're thinking of starting anything new and you're like I'm too old it's a load of shite like no one is too old just go for it and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next one